So the other day I watched a video of a guy and um, he was explaining, um, he had this mower, a uh, riding mower, and um, he had a problem with uh, gas and the oil, and um, he did, he wasn't sure why it came in there and stuff like that, or how that got in there, he, I guess in a video he thought that a kid did it or something like, I don't know, like that, but um, this is what, this is what happens and how it comes in there, and this is pretty much the only the only time that it happens could happen other ways but um what happens is a lot of times it's just needle in here now this is an old carburetor it's you don't see carburetors like this anymore but this is the only one i had to really show this on so if you look down inside here this is where the um needle goes down inside here so what this does is as the float rises, so here's the bowl, as the fuel level rises, it pushes, this little tab here pushes down on here and it shuts the fuel from coming off. So it maintains the fuel level. So as the more fuel gets sucked out through the jet and uh, vaporized into the engine, um, this will allow come down to allow more so the float will maintain the fuel level. Well, a lot of times what happens is the ends of these needles will tend to deteriorate. Now, uh, some, well, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, some, some are different. So, this tip here, as you can see, this one's good. This will have a rubber tip. But what will happen is as it deteriorates, it will uh, leak fuel past. And I know this is really tiny. And this, this is actually far away from the crankcase, so it's kind of odd that this is the problem but you know you gotta look at pay attention to those little details but uh this will actually leak fuel past even when this floats all the way up so even when it floats all the way up it'll leak fuel past and will flood the carburetor this won't happen on an updraft carburetor because the fuel goes upward but it will happen on one of these or like one that connects to this where the fuel can run down so what's going to happen is, I mean, it could still happen on the updraft carburetors, but you won't get fuel in the crankcase. So what will happen is, is that fuel will leak up to the point where it just goes inside that carburetor throat, just like that. And it'll pour, it'll drip down through the intake passage. This is a head that's actually laying here with this motor. It'll seep past this uh, intake valve a lot of times it will happen when it's open if not sometimes it just drips out through the through the air filter or something like that unless the engine is worn or needs a valve job so what it will do is it'll drip down through this valve here into the cylinder so this is the piston and the, con uh, the whole combustion chamber and it will actually leak past the piston through the rings that it can easily leak past the rings only function when they're under when they're being compressed when there's air against them so that won't really seal it out it's not a hundred percent airtight it can still leak liquid fast and it'll come out past through the piston and it will actually come into the combustion uh not the the oil the well, i guess whatever you call it the, the crankcase so um that's a common issue and a lot of times You'll fill, it'll fill up to the point where you'll actually fill up into the cylinder with gas and oil because it'll just get that much and it'll just build up to the point where it'll go up to here and the motor will not even turn over anymore. So it'll leak fuel till basically your tank's dry and all the fuel that's in your tank just went down inside your motor. And that's especially a problem on two strokes because you actually got to take the motor apart usually they'll flood themselves that bad happened to my dirt bike. My dirt bike has the same issue, um, which I need to replace the needle on it. It actually leaks fuel. The carb fills up, leaks fuel down into the engine, and uh, fills the engine up with gas. And in return, you got to take the engine apart, or in that case, on my dirt bike, I just pulled the reeds out and siphoned it out. But that's the, all the work, and you know, it's really, it's really a pain in the ass, you know. So if you see an engine filled with gas and oil this is what I uh, suggest you do go online order a rebuild kit or go to your local motor shop and have them rebuild your carburetor because no one 
chances are very slim that someone was that dumb to go fill up their oil with gas. So it's uh, very crucial that you go and get that carburetor rebuilt because if not, you're going to wind up in the same footsteps. Another thing you can do is you can also put a fuel shut off on there. That will also work if you, uh, they're much cheaper to do. The thing is, I recommend, so you can get a fuel shut off that goes on the line. But what I recommend is just get it done right and put on the carb. And afterwards, put on a fuel shut off. You can put them on, and that will assure you that you're not going to drip any, leak any more fuel down inside that crankcase. So, another thing that can go wrong is these floats can develop cracks. You could shake them. Uh, but most floats nowadays don't do that because they're plastic. The brass floats were actually the solder joints on them that would go bad. So that's usually what happens. But what I recommend doing is if that happens to you, change the oil and the gas, pull the plug out, let it just flush itself out, just turn the motor over. And then what I would recommend that you do is get this carburetor rebuilt. If you don't know how to do it yourself, take it to a shop. They'll rebuild it for you. And... Um, Basically, they'll just put in this new needle and stuff which you get in a rebuild kit. So, have them rebuild the carburetor and um, afterwards, you won't have that issue anymore. And if you want, put on a fuel shutoff valve just for good measures. Um, you can actually just put on a fuel shutoff valve without getting a car, but like I said, I recommend that you just do it right and get the carburetor rebuilt. So, that's basically what causes the problems with those... Uh, with your crankcase filling up with uh, fuel and uh, you know but a lot of times you won't notice anything when it runs it'll run fine oh another thing is a lot of times most most of the time you're gonna need choke to start your engine um, some engines don't need it uh, but most engines will and if you notice it's having that issue uh, a lot of times don't automatically think that your uh, carb needs to get rebuilt but um uh, a lot of times they'll start up and it'll puff out a whole black bunch of black smoke like it did have the choke on. That's usually because there's fuel leaking through the carb, and now you got some gas down inside the cylinder here, and it's pre-primed and it's like it's choked. So it actually will start up sometimes easier um, before it gets to the point where it just fills that uh, whole combustion chamber up and the crankcase up with oil. And you know, so that's basically what causes that. So. Uh, can't really explain much more, but if you have any questions or notice you're doing that, it's doing that, just get it fixed and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.